tell you how I like to draw up and label my medications from the RSI kit. RSI stands for rapid sequence intubation, and there are a lot of medications in an RSI kit that we use to help sedate someone before we intubate them. Every hospital's kit is going to look different. They may have different meds, different doses, different amounts, different concentrations. So you need to get familiar with your own RSI kit. When you're in an emergent situation and you need to quickly sedate someone and intubate them, like you need to drop your medications and know exactly which medications are in which syringes because we always wanna make sure we are sedating someone before we paralyze them. Therefore, we wanna make sure we're not confusing our paralytic syringe with our sedation meds syringe. If you have the time, you can always draw them up and label them nicely. And so if I have time, I will do that. But in a pinch, this is what I do. Over the years, I've gotten super familiar with the meds in my own kit. And I know that my fentanyl comes in a hundred microgram per two milliliter concentration. And my Versed comes in a five milligram per five milliliter concentration. Propofol is kind of obvious because it's white. And then Atomidate always comes in like a bigger vial. And so I think the dosage is 20 milligrams per 10 milliliters. Point is, I like to use specific syringes every single time for specific medications. So for example, for drawing up fentanyl, I will use a three cc syringe because I know my fentanyl will only be two cc's per 100 micrograms. For said, I will always use a five milliliter syringe because it's five milligrams and five mils. So I know that my five milliliter syringe is my Versed. Atomidate, I always use like a big 20 cc syringe if I have one or two 10 cc syringes when I'm drawing that one up. And if I have multiple syringes of the same size that I'm using, I will quickly just take my little Sharpie that I keep on my badge and on the very end of the syringe, like right here, I'll just write like a little V for Versed or I would write an E for Atomidate. I've also just taped my vials directly to the syringe if I didn't have a Sharpie or if I just wanted to quickly like boom, tape it to the syringe so I know exactly which medication is in that syringe. Those are a couple ways you can label your medications when you're in a pinch, that way you're not mixing them up and you know exactly which medications you are giving, especially what you're giving first and what you're giving last. That's your tip of the week. Let me know if you have any questions.